Hello and welcome to this month's episode of Glass Painting with Jack. Today I'm going to show you how I create my gorgeous, cute, wee, cheeky Highland Coo. Do you know that seven colours go into this design? But before I show you how I do that, I'd love to hear from you if there's any kind of projects you'd like me to do, whether easy or slightly more complicated, that you'd like to have a go at home. Let me know and I'll see what I can do for next month. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the little bell and that way you'll know when I upload my video again next month. So I'm all set up and ready to go and I've stirred all my paints. So let me get started. I have my tea light sitting on a roll of masking tape. Um, that just gives me a little bit extra stability as I'm moving the glass around in case it slips out of my hands, which is not fun. I don't want to smudge my work as I go. I'm starting with amber brown and I'm marking on the tea light the rough shape and position of the coup before I go on to add, give him some of his shaggy hair on his face. I'm using short strokes, similar to, to what you would have seen me do on my thistle um, in a previous video. And I'm working with my paint wet um, because it works really well in together. So I'll just do the top of his head and I'm finished with the amber brown. The tape, you'll have seen the roll of tape just making it a bit easier to move it around. I'm now using a darker brown. This is called earth brown. And as with previous videos, I'm using the Pebble Vitria 160 range, which I really enjoy using. Um, so if you're getting a hold of some paints, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be Pebble. So I'm just adding just some dark shadows into his shaggy hair. And I'm then moving on with veil white to paint his muzzle. And his muzzle isn't shaggy, so it's a different thing. I'm just filling in the muzzle just now. And what you're going to see me do is I'm going to mix the colour of the muzzle on the actual glass. You could mix the colour in a tray, in some kind of little mixing tray, but I find that the colour dries out before I'm finished using it. So I just mix it each time as I go and it doesn't take very long. So into the veil white, I'm adding just a small spot of earth brown and I'm mixing it mixing it in just fairly gently, staying within the area of the muzzle that I've already created until I'm quite happy with the colour. There we go. So now I move on to the fringe and I'm using orange and it's see I'm using longer strokes for the fringe similar to the flower of the thistle um, I'm now going to put some amber brown in because we want to interest in the fringe and then similar just adding some yellow sunshine yellow or sun yellow I think this is called and there we 
we go, some yellow. And then a final little touch to the fringe is earth brown, just very thin highlight earth brown. And then I'm going to add, using the earth brown, a little shadow around the fringe. I'm going to do the horns now again with the white and then putting a little earth brown in but I'm not mixing it quite as much as the muzzle because I want it to be darker and just to accent the, the, the horn turn it around and do the other side Now, I'm using the paint wet because I want it to be able to move around the glass and the colours move within each other. So let me just, I'm just going to put my earth brown in this side. And you'll see that the horn on this the first side has already started to move around. I'm now going to add his cheeky little tongue, because what would he be without his cheeky little tongue sticking out? So there is his tongue. And there we have the first stage of the coup. Now, because it's on a curved surface, gravity will cause the paint to move and you might see there's a bit of movement in the fringe already which is what I'm looking for but I don't want it all to sink around the glass I don't want the fringe to escape where it's meant to be I don't want the muzzle going everywhere so I will turn him upside down this way and put him in another tape roll and I will turn him that way and that way until I have the look that I want for the fringe because I want it to be a little bit unkempt and not as, as straight and combed as it's been and um, I need to wait for him to dry before I can go on and do the next little touches. So now our little guy is dry, his muzzle is dry, I can add some nostrils. I'm going to do that using my black paint to just add little nostril and as always I add my signature there we go so now he knows he belongs to me I'm gonna let him dry and add the very fin finishing touches later. So we have our little Highland cheeky chappy all dry and as you can see the, the fringe has moved around a bit whilst the paint's dried so it gives his fringe that little unkempt wild look which is suitable for our bonnie Scottish Highland laddie or lassie. So my final touch is to add just a little bit of gold embellishment with gold relief cream. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the techniques and colours that go into this little guy. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave any comments in the comment section below about what you would like to see happening on glass painting with Jack. And as always, 
subscribe if you haven't already or check out some more videos that are available on my channel. Until next month, bye!